Let's take a closer look at the Chihuahuan spruce, Picea chihuahuana. It's a spruce that kind of has a bluish cast to the foliage. Nothing like a Colorado blue spruce, but um, in the beginning of the year when new growth comes out, it's a lot bluer. And as the summer progresses, I guess a lot of that white powder gets washed off and it looks more of like a sea green color now. A couple of interesting things about this species. First of all, it's from northern Mexico, but it's hardy in Tennessee. No problems with cold weather. But one thing I noticed about it is that it will get a second flush of growth late in the season, like August, September, but only on the side branches. Now I'm looking at the main leader here. I don't think these buds are in any danger of um, sprouting at this time. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There's the main leader bud. If they did, that would probably be a bad thing, but these side branches, there's one there, one there. Here we are in the second week of October, and it's still putting on new growth, which, if you know about spruces, you know that's pretty unusual and not normal. It's only on this one side, which is the side that gets morning sun. The other sides in the afternoon, afternoon sun, have not sprouted any. And as I said a second ago, the uh, main leader has not. And I hope that they don't. They also have really large buds, as you can see. And the other thing about this, I don't know if you can tell, but the needles are extremely sharp. They come to a needle point, I guess for lack of a better term. But they're noticeably sharper than any other spruce in my spruce collection. Which could be good if you have a... Um, overactive dog that likes to get into your trees like I have there's no worry about them messing with the chihuahuan spruce because it's just too prickly it's, it's the closest thing to a conifer cactus that I've ever seen it's a really cool tree and um, it's put on probably about three or four inches of growth a year and it's just getting started I'm expecting it to speed up as it gets older Right now it's right about one foot tall. I've got it planted to where it gets pretty much all day sun. And since it's from Mexico, I'm not really worried about that. It should be able to tolerate all day sun and even relative dryness. Probably rivaling the Colorado blue spruce in its drought tolerance, or maybe even surpassing it. And also heat tolerance as well. And my hope is that since it's further south, where there's a little bit more moisture, that it also has more fungal tolerance than the Colorado blue spruce. This does get sprayed by a sprinkler, as do pretty much all of my conifers. And for a Colorado blue spruce, that would be a major problem, because wet foliage leads to fungus. But one of the reasons I'm trying all these different exotic species is to find ones that are resistant to being sprinkled, and resistant to fungus. So far so good with the Chihuahuan spruce. They are very hard to find online, but I've seen them in a couple places. This one came from forestfarm.com. I think I've seen them on keepingitgreennursery.com. Maybe a couple other places as well, so keep an eye out for them.